The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to create the wall system for a mini barn, the mini barn project using SketchUp for Schools. So let's take a look at what it is that uh, our goal is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and hide some of those things here. And what we're left with are the two wall systems that make up the side of the barn. Now, the total height of these are 4 feet by 12 feet. So we're going to use that information to go ahead and construct a model of this using SketchUp for Schools. So getting back to SketchUp for Schools here, uh, you'll need to open up your Gambrel Trust template here, your uh, drawing that you made from last week. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to select this and then we're just going to right click and hide this. And all that does is it just hides it from view so it doesn't interfere with our new assembly. So getting started here, we said uh, we need uh, a couple of pieces. Um, and looking at this here, we have a top plate and a bottom plate and then we have these vertical wall studs. Now, <clears throat> as I said, total height of this is uh, four feet and uh, total length is 12 feet. And the width of the two by fours here, they're, they're, we're gonna go ahead and use actual two by fours for this particular project. And so the width here is four and it's two inches in height, okay? And two inches, uh, two inches thick. So um, using that information, let's go ahead and begin our bottom plates. So going here, we're gonna pick up a rectangle tool and I'm going to describe a rectangle here. So I'm drawing it in the orientation that I want it to be in. So I take a look at the uh, distance here. I see it's uh, one foot three inches wide by nine feet five and a half. So what I do when I do that is I look at the uh, dimensions here to see which one's the long dimension, and which one's the short dimension. So in this case, the uh, short dimension goes first. And so that's going to be two inches, no, excuse me, four inches. And I got to make sure and put in the correct units and then a comma. And this is going to be 12 feet, which is a single quote. And so that's going to give me the appropriate sized uh, rectangle for this particular part. Now I'm going to take push pull here. I'm going to measure or pull that up two inches. And so that gives me the bottom plate. And so I'm going to take my select tool, draw a selection box around it, right click and make a group. So uh, this is now just a single piece of geometry that I can select and move around if I need to. Now, the second piece here is going to be the vertical wall studs, and these need to be three foot eight. Now, the way I calculated that here is I know the total assembly is four feet high. And so what I did was subtracted two inches off of this from four feet. So that would be uh, three foot ten. And then I subtract another two inches here which would be three foot eight. So that is the height of, of our object that we're gonna create in SketchUp for schools. So once again, pick up the rectangle tool. I'm gonna to draw a rectangle here and notice how I'm kind of overdoing it here in terms of its actual dimensions. And that'll allow me to kind of analyze what dimension needs to go first. So I see the first one there is the length and then the uh, second one is the short dimension. So I'm gonna type in the appropriate dimensions here. It's four inches, comma, two inches. And so in this case here, I don't really have to type the units in here because they're both in inches. Now I'm going to take push pull here and I'm going to push pull this upward to give myself a assembly here or an object there that's going to be three foot eight inches tall. So the way I type this in, it's three single quote space eight double quote. That should give me a three foot eight inch assembly there, or a vertical wall stud. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and draw a box around that or right click and make that a group. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this just for a minute here, get set up for the next part here where we're going to go ahead and assemble this into a single wall system. All right. Be back in a minute. Okay, well, we're back, reset. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and set these things up so that they're spaced equally apart and they're lined up and make a nice uh, tight assembly here. So uh, taking a look back on our model here, we can see that uh, these are the pieces that we just fit. So we're gonna go ahead and take this piece here and we're gonna duplicate it across here. 
And uh, we're going to duplicate it so the middle of this piece here is, is 16 inches to the middle of the, the next wall stud. So, um, and it's pretty, pretty easy to do. But first, before we do that, we've got to get it set into its, its position. So what I'm doing here is selecting the piece that I want to move, and I want to go ahead and use the Move tool here. In the Move tool, I click once here on the corner, and then I'm going to click another time at its destination point. And so what I've done is join those two pieces together, uh, basically using their corners to snap to. Now, in order to duplicate this here, it's really simple. They've made this really easy. So all I need to do is uh, use my Move tool here, and then I'm going to zoom in a tick or two, and what I'm doing is I'm selecting this piece right from the midpoint of its thickness. So I'm just going to give it one click and then I'm going to move it. Oops, before I do that, I want to do the control key because that means I'm going to duplicate it. And so you see I'm moving it along this edge here and I want to go ahead and move it a certain distance here and I'm going to type that distance in. It's 16 inches. So what I've done now is I've moved this over exactly 16 inches. Now, I can go ahead and duplicate this now, which is really simple. All I have to do is click on the, uh, press the asterisk button, and then I'm going to, uh, which means multiply by nine. And so there's my pieces there. They suddenly appear here. And so now I've got these assemblies in the right place, except for the last one. So that's really easy to fix too. So what I'm going to do here is just click on this. I'm going to get my move tool again, and I'm going to click on this lower corner here and then click and drag it into position by snapping it to the end of the bottom plate. All right, so everything's spaced uh, 16 inches across except for this very last one. And that's, that's kind of how the spacing goes. Sometimes you don't get equal units all the way across, and that's okay. All right, so uh, one of the last things we need to do here for this particular operation is we need to go ahead and uh, duplicate this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look, zoom in here, tick or two, and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the bottom plate and make it a top plate. And so here's how this works. First of all, I got to select the piece that I want to duplicate. And then I want to click the move tool. And then I want to go ahead and press the control key. Now watch the cursor. See how it changes to a, uh, a plus sign. So now what I'm going to do is give this one last click here, this assembly, and I'm going to move it along this edge here, and I'm going to join it to the top here, just like you see in the illustration there. All right, so now that's uh, a set. We've got this all set up the way we want it. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, final thing here, is uh, go ahead and select all these pieces here. And I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to group it. So now, when I select this here, I'm not selecting all the individual units. I'm just selecting the group. And now I can go ahead and move this wherever I want, and it all stays together. All right. Uh, well, I think that's all I really wanted to uh, discuss with you today. So good luck with your modeling, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay. Well, I forgot to mention one thing there. It's I, I kind of uh, thought it might... Uh, Go without saying but I'm gonna say it anyway don't forget to save your model here by clicking the Save button because we're gonna go ahead and use this uh, file over and over again and so uh, one thing another thing that I failed to mention was the fact that you know now we have two assemblies in here and uh, these two assemblies uh, we can go ahead and unhide the last one over here where it says uh, components and we're just going to go ahead and unhide last. So, so now you can see we have uh, two assemblies here. Let me undo that. So now we can go ahead and once we build all the assemblies that we require, now we can go ahead and start assembling them. So just a simple matter of hiding things and unhiding them is all we need to do. So at that point, uh, make sure you save this and uh, make sure you export it out as a PNG, okay? Um, I think that's under the this one here, yeah, your file folder, and you want to go ahead and export out as a PNG. And uh, what that'll do is create a uh, a picture file of this particular assembly, and uh, that's the one you're going to want to upload to Canvas. Okay, so that's how you're going to demonstrate that you've completed your your model for this particular exercise. Uh, so be sure to go back to your Canvas uh, assignment page where it's discussing this and you want to go ahead and upload your PNG exported out from this model. All right, well, good luck with this, and we'll talk to you next time.